class, today we are on Saxon Book 4, Lesson 63, and we are going to talk about polygons. So, it's been a little while since I've had you put anything in your math dictionary, but these words definitely need to be in your math dictionary. So, if you need to, put me on pause and get out your dictionary and get these definitions written in there for polygon and for a regular polygon. So now that you have them in your math dictionary, let's talk about what they are. What is a polygon? So according to the definition, a polygon is a closed, flat shape formed by line segments. Let's break that apart. What does it mean for a shape to be closed? It means there's no open spaces. So this is a polygon. This is not a polygon because it's got this open space. So a polygon must be closed, meaning all the line segments connect and it creates a shape of some sort. That takes care of closed. Thank you guys. You could tell me what flat is, right? It's not a three-dimensional object. It's not, um, it's not this box of tissues because that's not flat. Now, this box of tissues is made up of polygons because this one particular side here, this is flat. This would be a polygon called a rectangle. And we're going to get to another name for that in just a few minutes. Okay? So they're closed, they're flat, and they're formed by line segments. So what's important about that little piece of the definition is that a line segment is always straight, not curved. So this funny looking thing is a polygon. But this circle is not a polygon because it's not made of line segments. It's curved, it's round, so it's not a polygon, okay? Funny looking polygon, not a polygon. So our next definition is what is a regular polygon? This is in your textbook for today's lesson. However, it's gonna become much more important when you get to high school math. Um, but for today, you guys are used to seeing regular polygons. Regular polygons have the same length sides and the same size angles. So regular polygons are things like squares because I have four sides that are all congruent and if I pay attention to my angles, those are all the same. They're congruent as well. This particular type of triangle is a regular triangle. It has three sides that are the same, and then it has three angles that are the same. Let's see if I can draw this one. I'm not so good at the regular pentagon. That's not too bad. So pretend that those sides are all exactly the same. This would be a regular pentagon. That's one of the words we're gonna to get to over here where all the sides and all the angles are the same. Think of a stop sign. A stop sign is a regular octagon. All the sides, all the angles are congruent or same size, same shape. So these are your regular polygons. This funny looking one that I drew up here, that is not a regular polygon. It is a polygon. It's a closed, flat shape formed by line segments, but it's not a regular polygon. Regular polygons have to have congruent sides and congruent angles. Okay, the next part of this lesson introduces you some to words that you've seen before and some that might be new. So 
triangle. You guys have that covered. This is a regular triangle, but we have different types of triangles like this, like this. So all kinds of triangles. Tri means three, like tricycle, three wheels. So triangle, three sides. This is the general word for a four-sided polygon. We call it a quadrilateral. Think about the quad that you might ride out on the dirt hills. Quads have four wheels. Quad means four. Quadrilaterals have four sides. So there are tons of different types of quadrilaterals. We might have a square which is a regular quadrilateral. You might have a rectangle, or we might have one that's not a square or a rectangle, but it is still a closed, flat shape formed by four line segments. So this is still considered a quadrilateral, okay? Pentagon, pent, means five, so a five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. This one right here is a regular pentagon. So there is a building in Washington, D.C. where government officials work called the Pentagon. The reason it's called the Pentagon is because if you look at it from an airplane, if you look down, it's shaped like this. It's shaped like a pentagon five-sided polygon. So, regular pentagon. Like I said, oh my goodness, I kind of butchered that. Not very good at this regular pentagon drawing. I think I'm better when they don't have to be the same size. So, that's close to a regular pentagon. Oh, I drew it in the wrong spot. My goodness, now I have to do it again. I don't know, that one might be a little better. Tell me what you think. So there's a regular pentagon, or we can just have one, two, three, four, five sides, also a pentagon, or one that you're familiar with. This is how most kids draw their house. That's a pentagon. It's just not a regular pentagon because my angles and my sides are not all the same length. All right, here we have Hexagon. Hex means six. So a hexagon is a six-sided shape. Um, let me try to draw a regular hexagon. It's going to look like that. There we go. A regular hexagon or any six-sided shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That could be a hexagon. Closed, flat, six-sided shape. Oct means eight, like octopus has eight legs. So octagon has eight sides. And I did one of those over there. This is how I usually draw octagons. I start with the four sides and then connect them. But again, not that much better than my pentagons, huh? Guess I need to practice with my shape drawing. So, regular octagon or any eight-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is an octagon. What a funny-looking octagon. And finally, we have Decagon, dec means 10. So decagon is a 10-sided shape. And there is a regular, it looks very much like the octagon. It just has 10 sides and they're all really tiny. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh gosh, I kind of butchered this. Ooh, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. It gets to be more and more looking like a circle the more sides you have, but really these are just kind of obtuse angles. They're really big angles, so it makes it look a little bit more circular, but it has ten sides, or let's go for the funny looking decagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh-oh, messed that one up a little. Let's go eight, how about nine, ten? Funny looking decagon right there. Any closed flat shape formed by line segments. And we have different words depending on how many line segments we use to make those shapes. Okay, so we have a couple practice problems here. What kind of polygon is a square. So a square has four sides. Here's my square. Which of these words describes a four-sided polygon? Quadrilateral. So our answer to this question would be quadrilateral. A square is a specific type of quadrilateral. An octagon has how many more sides, I'm sorry, an octagon has how many more vertices than a pentagon? So there's a word we haven't talked about in a while, vertices. Let's look at my octagon. Okay, here's my octagon. The vertices, those are the corners. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in an octagon. I drew the little dots. Those are the vertices where the two sides meet. It's called a vertex if we're talking about one of them. Vertices if we're talking about more than one of them. So an octagon has eight. How many do you think a pentagon is going to have? Here's my pentagon. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So eight here, five here. How many more? You can do that in your head. Three more. And let me show you how we spell those. Three more vertices. That's what these corners are called. Okay? Our last example is name the polygons that form this pyramid. So let me show it to you. We have that shape. And then in the back. Okay, so here's my pyramid. Name the polygons that form the pyramid. So all of the faces are made up of different polygon shapes. Here we have a triangle. Back here we have a triangle. So that's two triangles that we can see. What about in the back here, represented by those dotted lines? There's another triangle. And then over here on this side, is another triangle. So to make this pyramid, we need four triangles. And what about the base? What do you think that shape is? It's a little distorted when you try to draw a 3D shape on a flat surface, but you can picture a pyramid and tell me that the bottom is going to be a square. So four triangles and a square for our base makes up this pyramid. All right, we are going to move on to lesson practice. And actually, as I'm looking at it, it's not something I'm going to be able to really check for you because you will need to draw these shapes. So it says, draw an example of each of these polygons, a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, an octagon, and a decagon. Now, it does not say they need to be regular, 
So as long as you have the right number of sides and you've created a flat, closed shape uh, with straight sides, then you are good to go on that. You can have your homeschool teacher check and make sure that your shapes are correct. And then we're going to skip down to G and H, and we'll do these two together. It says, name each polygon shown and describe its angles. So the first one looks like this. What is the name of this polygon? It has four sides. It's a quadrilateral. So if I were writing this on my paper, I would kind of sound out quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral. It has four sides. And then it said describe the angles. So what kind of angles, if I turn it and you look at it like that, does that help you at all? What do you notice about those angles? They are right angles. So quadrilateral right angle or right angles would be our answer. The next picture kind of looks like an L. Like this. So, what kind of quadrilateral is this? Helps to count the sides. If I had this on my paper in front of me, I'd probably want to cross them out as I counted them. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. I would do that just to make sure I didn't count any twice or miss any. So it has six sides, which makes it a hexagon, hexagon. As I'm spelling it, I'm going to sound out the syllables. And what kind of angles are in this shape, in this polygon? Hmm, it also has right angles. There we go. And that's the end of your lesson practice. Oh, no, it's not. I turned the page. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. This one looks like a baseball home plate. What kind of shape is that? Count the sides. One, two, three, four, five sides. So which polygon has five sides, a pentagon, pent-a-gon, and then we're describing the angles. Well, this is the first shape that doesn't have all the same angles. I notice some right angles. There's two right angles at the top there, so I have right angles, what about these two? Those are going to be obtuse angles. They're big, fat angles, obtuse. And then look at this one. What if I hold it like that? Can you see that that is also a right angle? So we already took care of that one up there. All right. So, the next one is, oh, I almost said the name of it. You're supposed to tell me the name of it. Oh, but I'm having trouble drawing this kind. There we go. So, here it is. Count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. What is a polygon with eight sides? If you said octagon, you are absolutely correct. Octagon. And what do we notice about these angles? 
They're not right angles. Are they acute little tiny angles? No, they're big, fat, obtuse angles. Obtuse angles. All right. So the next one you are going to have to open your book to do because I want you to see how it's drawn in the book versus how I draw it with my human error. I do not get the side lengths or the angles exactly correct. So you'll need to look in the book at problems G through J, those four shapes, and say which of those appear to be regular polygons. Hit pause while you take a look at them and then come back and we'll go over the answer. So, G through J, which appear to be regular polygons. Take a look at G. Is that a regular polygon? It sure is. It's a square that just got turned so it looks a little diamond-ish. What about H? Is H a regular polygon? Nope. It has some sides that are longer than others. I, is I a regular polygon? No. You can't tell so much by the sides. Those sides look like they could be about the same length. But are the angles all the same? Definitely not. So therefore, it is not a regular polygon. And J, is J a regular polygon? Yes, it sure is. All the side lengths and all the angles are congruent. So J is a regular polygon called an octagon. Uh, that was K. L says, what common street sign has the shape of the polygon in problem J? I bet you can yell that out at the TV right now. Stop! That big red sign that says stop, that is an octagon. And our final problem, M, a decagon has how many more vertices than a hexagon? So we did an example like this where we compared, I think it was an octagon to a pentagon. An octagon has eight sides and eight vertices. A pentagon has five sides and five vertices. So if you need to draw a picture, you absolutely can. But think about how many vertices a decagon has. And then compare that to how many vertices a hexagon has and see if you can tell me how many more vertices does the decagon have than the hexagon. Put me on pause if you need a minute to figure that out. So a decagon has 10 sides, 10 vertices. A hexagon has 6 sides, 6 vertices. This is a how many more question, so we know we're going to subtract, and we get an answer of four more vertices. There you go. All right, folks, now for real, that is the end of your lesson. It is time for you to turn to page 408 in your textbook and work on the written practice. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.